on his own own checked cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. <laughs> as he went along, he called, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Whatever, <laughs> he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and walked down the street calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town, slowly, slowly, as not to upset any of his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree and leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. Then he put up his hand to feel as if they were straight. First his own checked cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps, then the red caps on the very top. They were all there, so he went to sleep. He slept for a long time. Do you think they're still going to be there when he wakes up? <gasps> what if someone steals them? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Somebody might steal them. Let's Maybe. find out. When he woke up, he was refreshed and rested. Okay, what do you notice about that picture? All the caps are gone. They're gone. Hi, right, let's find out. But before standing up, he felt his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. Oh, you were right. Oh. He looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. Then he looked to the back of him. No caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. No caps. Then he looked up at the tree. What do you think he saw? His caps. Are his caps up there? His caps are up there? Oh, On every branch sat a monkey. On every monkey was a gray or a brown or a blue or a red cap. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger at them. You give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook their fingers back at him and said, Tiss, tiss, tiss. This made the peddler angry. So he shook both hands at them and said, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their head, both their hands back at him and said, Tiss, tiss, tiss. <laughs> now he felt quite angry. He stamped his foot and he said, You monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, Tiss, tiss, tiss. By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. He stamped both his feet and shouted, You monkeys, you, you must give me back my cap. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, Tiss, tiss, tiss. At last, he became so angry that he pulled off his own cap, threw it on the ground, and began to walk away. But then, each monkey pulled off their caps. And all the gray caps, and all the brown caps, and all the blue caps, and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and put them back on his head. First his own check caps, and then the gray caps, and then the brown caps, and then the blue caps, and then the red caps on the very top. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to the town calling, Caps! Caps for sale! Fifty cents a cap! The end. Okay, now students, we're going to work on a word wall. Yay!